The summer break in EU politics is ending and Brussels is getting back to business. Today, EU diplomats are discussing current security issues and defense ministers meeting is planned for tomorrow. This meeting was initially planned to be held in Hungary, which currently holds the EU Council's rotating presidency. However, it was moved to Brussels in response to Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban's controversial diplomatic trips to Moscow and Beijing, which drew criticism from the EU. Ukraine is a major topic on the agenda. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba is meeting with EU colleagues to discuss continued support for Ukraine, sanctions against Russia, efforts for peace and Ukraine's military actions. Well, we expect the permission, exactly that. And we expect the delivery of missiles which uh, can be used for that purpose. Since the very beginning of the invasion, the United States, the United Kingdom, the European Union, and other countries act as a coalition and such an important player as the European Union has a say in this discussion and I'm calling on the European Union to play a role and to make their point very clearly and strongly that this is something that needs to be done now if we want to maintain the momentum, if we want to continue with the uh, with suppressing the Russian capacity to destroy Ukraine and uh, advance in the in the east in the east of my country. Uh, all of these decisions are on the table, and uh, everyone knows how it works. We don't want a situation. What we want to avoid is a situation when the public message is that no one, in principle, is against deep strikes in Russia, but no real action is made to allow it. And this real action is send the missiles and. Uh, um, allow us to uh, to use them in the territory in the territory of Russia against I will once again emphasize legitimate military targets. Ukraine is also seeking permission to target deep inside Russian territory and to shoot down missiles and drones near their airspace, though no major decisions are expected on this. Ukraine also wants faster delivery of Western military aid, which defense ministers will discuss. They will review the EU's training mission for Ukrainian troops and the use of frozen Russian assets to buy weapons for Ukraine. The situation in Venezuela after the disputed presidential elections is also being discussed. The EU did not recognize the results, and President Nicolas Maduro has accused the EU of supporting violence in Gaza. Ministers are also addressing the conflict in the Middle East, focusing on how the EU can help reduce tensions. Turkey is expected to attend the meeting for the first time in five years. The EU relies on Turkey to host Syrian refugees, but is concerned about its human rights record. Turkey hopes the meeting will lead to renewed dialogue.